Hi, I'm Scott Hazeldine, PGA Professional, and I'm here with David Blackshear, the inventor of the Sound Swing Augmented Kinematic Feedback Device. David, how are you doing, sir? Very good. That's easy it's for great me to, to say, see Scott. You. Yeah. <laughs> good to see tell you. Us a, tell us a little bit about how this device helps you in your motion learning, and it translates to you quicker than any other training aid on the market. Well. First of all, you hit the nail on the head when you said motion learning, Scott, and of course this little short segment is a precursor to Scott's uh, training method, which I think is tops, uh, probably the best use of visualization and motion learning through application of kinematics that, that I've seen out there. And there's a lot of devices, as you know, Scott, that, that people have come up with. Some of them are good for, for training aids but uh, a lot of them can actually uh, uh, be detrimental to what you're trying to accomplish they you know right uh, here we're trying to make something that is very intuitive through using tone frequencies that actually relate to joint angles of your body scott hazeldine's body not dave blackshear's uh, but so that you can repeat or replicate the correct motion as taught by you and your method uh, and, and learn it with efficiency on the range and actually it will translate into the golf swing and you can take it to the course. Right. And this is what's so fantastic about it is that it doesn't interfere with what you're doing. It doesn't restrict any action. It allows you to just create the right signature for your swing for the best results, have the knowledge of results through using the device and go out there and play with it on or practice with it on or use it in your home or in your office. Now, David, there's a lot of buzzwords out there that, that we hear, one of them being motion, or not motion memory, but muscle actual memory. muscle memory. Now, we both know that, that that isn't what happens. Tell us why. Well, it's, unfortunately, it's a misapplication of terms, Scott. Uh, the muscles actually have no memory. Absolutely. Uh, the, the motion memory that we're referring to is actually a translation through the proprioceptors in the body. Okay. Uh, and those proprioceptions are the nerve endings that actually exist in the exactly. muscle. Exactly. Yep. That, that enable you to find a place in space without any reference to it. it, it it's innate. Uh, for an example, when you're walking down stairs very quickly, then you don't think about putting one foot in front of the other. If you did, you'd actually fall down the steps. Sure. It becomes natural. Right. Uh, and if you run down the steps, the same thing. Or you try to eat, when's the last time you poked yourself in the face <laughs> with your fork? That's one of my favorites, yeah, I use that all the time. 